so th I just want to clarify why I'm having us um, watch and go over so much uh, the birth of a nation um, as we are sliding into the Civil War and then the Reconstruction. Um, is I want us to understand is not only as we go into the Civil War uh, and Reconstruction that of course that it did you know actually happen and it really was over slavery but the way in which we never resolved as a culture um, the actual impact culturally of the Civil War in other words I mean here's a blockbuster film uh, that was popular that was celebrating the KKK and retelling history. And even now, what you're going to see is I will talk about um, a large portion of folks, not just in the South, but outside of the South, don't even believe that the Civil War was over slavery. And I'm going to go over this so many times to say that I, I believe that there's a lot of history that's debatable and that it's fair to let, um, you know, historians have a wide range of view. But I don't think that anybody should be allowed to teach history in a public institution that claims that there was anything other than slavery um, as the issue of the Civil War. And once we go over this, uh, you will see that the proof is um, tremendous. But there's also a very good reason how reasonable people with PhDs actually um, can manipulate this uh, history. Um, which I'll go in, in detail and explain. But I just kind of want to help us maybe appreciate, because this is going to be a theme that I'm addressing as we're ending here, and with what we're seeing right now, is that the issue of race, the topic of race, the issue of racism has never went away with us. And, um, you know, some people feel like it gets used too often people have said it so much that they don't know how to distinguish between what, what real racism is or is there such thing as reverse racism you know and you know all of that um, and I think what's important for us to understand is that whatever we make of this obviously race is a big deal in the United States and um, it's all stemming back from I would argue how we didn't really resolve all this period. And if you look at popular culture for a long time, it still favored the racist narrative in terms of the white perspective. And that's a fact. And that's kind of what I want you to just sink into. I'm, it's, I, I don't believe in this idea of promoting white guilt or you know, acting as if white culture has did is the, is the root of all evil in the world. Um, but, you know, you, each person, when you live in a society, there's one group of people that have often had the upper hand, and they, you know, dominate the media, and they've had a long time to set things in motion, and now the media is more mixed, there are more people of color, and I think what I would argue is happening is that other people are having a voice that they didn't have before and the white voice is also becoming smaller. So on one hand, we've had traditional cultural, political uh, power, and simultaneously, we're losing it, but not. I mean, it's this weird thing where you have, you have the largest prison population in the, the world, mainly people of color, especially uh, you know, when you look at the size of the black population and how many are in prison, it's horrifying, just for example. And not necessarily, you know, for violent crimes. There's something wrong there. On the other hand, now you also have a media that um, does celebrate more cultural diversity. You do have people having rights to have, uh, you know, fighting hard to get transgender bathrooms and gay marriage, and there's the old conservative order is feeling a little overwhelmed and kind of like, well, do they have any power? So people can't even fully comprehend what it means, like who's got what power, who's being discriminated against, and whose ways are, are, are being challenged and threatened. And 
uh, everybody's going off into their own little political uh, uh, niche media centers, often with very little quality information, and reinforcing their ideas about one part of the country over the other. Um, I am, you know, horrified by seeing all this, and I want you to just kind of look at, you know, so the idea of focusing on the birth of a nation uh, while we're reading the Defending Slavery book and then switching into um, the Civil War is a way that I, I it's, it's a kind of style that I want you to do to get you thinking about the, the, the legacy that still holds on us, okay? So um, that's all I want to say about that. Go ahead and look at all these sources and, um, you know, make sure that you are uh, you know, really reading thoroughly the Defending Slavery um, book is um, interesting to say the least and probably new to a lot of you even though you know it's not the topic so I'll end it there and then we'll move on to the topics underneath uh, the modules